Welcome back. We are now on section four of our third test, and so we're on page 530. And let's start with problem number one. Problem number one. If s plus t is equal to three, s plus t is equal to three, what is the value of s plus t minus six? Well, we know that s plus t is equal to three, so they're just asking us what is three minus six? Well, three minus six is minus three. And that is choice A. Number two. Okay, they have a box on the cube. Okay, so let's see. let me see if I can draw this box. So it looks like then the back side's like this. And then let me draw a little dotted. Okay, and then the sides are A, let me do that in a different color. A, B, C, D, E, P, and then Q. And they say, on the cube in the figure above, each of the following points is the same distance from P as it is from Q, except, and these are all the choices, A, B, C, D, and E. So we want to look for a point that isn't the same distance as from P as it is from Q. So A, A is one edge from P and one edge from Q, so it's not A. B is, B is, let's see, it's two edges from P, no matter how you go. And it is also two edges from Q, no matter how you go, so it's not B, it's the same. C, C is one edge from Q, right? But to get to P, you gotta go at least three edges. One, two, three, to go to C. So it's gonna be C. C is much closer to Q than it is to P. So it is not the same distance. So our choice is C. C is C. All right, problem number three. And I'll switch to a less tacky color. Problem number three. Problem number, oh boy, there's all sorts of stuff to, to draw. Let's see, maybe I won't draw it, so I can get by without drawing. The bar graph above shows where fraud is committed on the internet. Which of the following circle graphs most ac accurately displays the same graph? Well, I'll try it. So you know, they say websites, websites, and you know, websites is like this huge number. Websites, that's 78%. Let me say that that is, you know, I'll say well, that's that's this purple color. Actually, I should do this the rectangle too. The websites is that purple color, and then let's say that, you know, email. Email is. Well, I'll do it this color. It's at eighteen percent. And then they tell us that news groups. News groups. Is two percent, so it's a really small percentage, two percent. And then finally. They tell us that other is also two percent. Other is also two percent. And then you want to say see a pie graph that's the same thing. So if this is the pie graph, so seventy eight percent is going to be this purple, it's going to be websites. So that's a little bit more than three fourths, right? Seventy eight percent is three percent more than three fourths. So three fourths would look like this. So a little bit more than three fourths is going to look Something like this. Oh, whoops, I'm still using the, uh, the line tool. But it would look something like a little bit more than 3 fourths is going to look something like this. And then uh, let me, I can actually even fill it. That's going to be a little bit more than 3 fourths. And then the blue stuff, 18%, well, that's going to be. That's going to look something like 18%. That's a little less than 25%, so it's going to be like that. So we could fill that too. All right. And then the other pieces are going to be, you know, these thin slivers. The other pieces are going to be these thin slivers like this. So, you know, 2% and 2%. So it's going to be like 2% and 2%. Right? This is really just translating that into this. And they're actually going to be even thinner than the way I drew it. 
And out of all the choices, the one that has this purple region websites and you know it's the dark region on the on the graph, the one that has that where it's more than three fourths, the only one that has that more than three fourths are choices C and D, right? That's the only one where it has you know more than seventy five percent is shaded um, the website's color. So it's either going to be C or D. And then when you look at the difference between C and D, C choice C has nothing for other in there, right? Choice C is it just has news groups, not no other. So it has to be D, because D and because news groups and others are actually the same size, so they should be the same proportion. So the choice is D. Next problem. Problem number four. The numerator of a certain fraction is five less than the denominator. So the numerator, so let's say the denominator is x. The numerator is five less than the denominator. So the numerator is x minus five, right? Numerator is five less than the denominator. And they say the fraction is equal to three fourths. What is the denominator of this fraction? So we just solve for x. So let's cross multiply. X times three, so three x is equal to four times x minus five. Four times x minus five. So three x is equal to four x minus twenty. You could subtract, so you get twenty is equal to subtract three x from both sides is equal to x, and that's the denominator. So that is choice D. Now the next problem has a bunch of drawing for me to do, but let's see if I can finish it in time. So we have the two axes. Let me draw the two axes. This is like a big problem, so I'll draw it big. I got the two pro axes. And then they give us, you know, it goes from k to six k. So K, 2K, 3K, 4K, 5K, 6K. 6K, 5K, 4K, 3K, you get the point. And then it goes from 1 to 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then the triangle looks like it goes from, let's see, if I were to draw a line, it goes from 2K to 6K. And then from two to six, so it goes. Let me draw. They, they actually draw the line like this too. Two k this. This is a triangle. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do it in this video, but everything should work out. Let's see, so the triangle goes from two k to six k, and it's a point two. Oh, oh no, sorry. It goes from two k to five k. Good thing I caught that. It's from two k to five k, and it's at point two. its base. And then it goes up to 6, where it kind of is in the middle. So it goes up to here. So this is what the triangle looks like. I have redrawn the problem. And this is B, A, C. And they say in the figure above, the scale on the x-axis is different from the scale on the y-axis. If the area of triangle ABC is 18, what is the value of K? So the area is 18. So area is equal to 1 half base times height for a triangle. We know that the area is 18. So 18 is equal to 1 half. What's the base? Well, we went from 2K to 5K, right? So we went 3K. We went 1. Two, three. We went 3k. So the base is 3k. And what's the height? Well, from 2 to 6. So the height is 4. Right? And we just solve for k. So 18 is equal to, let's see, 1 half times 4 is 2 times 3k is equal to 6k. k is equal to 3. And that is choice E. And we are done. You just have to know area is equal to 1 half base times height. And then just put in the base, which is 3k, and the height, and solve for k. I'll see you in the next video.